Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new, hello, hi, I'm Katie and welcome back if you're a subscriber, you are the best. If you are new here, please consider hitting that subscribe for all those good vibes and join our good vibe tribe. If you're a return subscriber, you literally make my day. Um, and today, I have a good one for you. I have some of my favourite autumn pieces I have seen in several autumns, like literally they are a bit of a dream they're a bit of me they're a bit of a dream they're just i feel like i just need to show you because mm, mm, mm. i feel like this haul has got some really key essential pieces so some nice pieces you're going to have for a long time some things that will stay in your wardrobe they'll be classy they'll be classic they'll be effortless how rude and yeah they're just a bit of a dream let's just get straight into them because i feel like i can't wait any longer um i'm gonna start with one of my favorite and most classic pieces of them all so this is a cream knit dress it is so soft and the quality of this just feels so so expensive it feels so much more expensive than it is it's only 35.99 and honestly for the quality i thought this was going to be really expensive it was one of those pieces i was like oh no i don't want to want to keep it but i have to keep it you know like one of them you're like oh god it's gonna be so expensive it's actually made of wool as well i don't know how much percentage okay so it's only six percent wool so it's not actually that high wool but it is absolutely it's just this gorgeous cream color i feel like it's the perfect knit dress you just need it's so comfy classy chic it like just touches everywhere just skims the edges very little just perfect knit dress so just for reference i'm a uk size 12 and i'm five foot nine you guys always seem to ask and i do actually tell you guys in every single video so you know maybe you should not skip through and then you might actually know my height and my size okay <laughs> i'm joking but i'm serious because honestly it's my most asked question is what height are you and i say it in every single video rant over um so yeah this is just an absolute dream i think it's gonna look really nice either with like some nice and cash with some trainers or i think i styled it in the cutaway with some really gorgeous boots um, i think i styled it with the brown boots and the brown boots i've had my eye on for so long so 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 long i can't even tell you those brown boots oh my god let's just talk about them because because they're just something else they are, aren't they just something else hang on we'll just take a moment because I mean, I have shared these on my Instagram story so many times and I was like, I just need to get them. I just need to get them. Um, but also what I thought would be really exciting was I reckon things like this. So these are like 149 pound and I know that's kind of pricey and they are real leather, which, you know, sorry vegans, but they will last you so much longer. And secondly, black friday and cyber sale week is coming so if you don't follow me already over on instagram then i'm at with love katie and two underscores make sure you're following me over there because i'm gonna have so much black friday content i can't even tell you and i've got a feeling these may be going in the black friday sales so if you're gonna like maybe wait it out if they're a bit much at the moment if they're not just go for it because i can honestly tell you there's just look at the detail they're just such a dream these also are you can remove them so you can just keep them more classic nice chocolate brown boot very classy heel height is perfect also really gorgeous like heel style i love the fact that it's black because it just incorporates the brown and the black really nicely together also for us wide fit girls like i am wide fit i just go to size eight instead of size seven and it's fine um but also i just wanted to mention like the width around here because i know in my h&m haul a few of you asked what the width of the um really gorgeous like croc bin ready orange boots were um and they were quite a big size and these i'd say just i've got quite big calves and sometimes it can be a struggle so there's another pair of boots i'm going to talk to you about in a minute and if you've got big calves i wouldn't recommend the other boots but these ones were fine on me so just yeah bear that in mind and they were a little bit of a dream um, so those kind of boots I feel like are going to be so versatile you're going to be able to wear them with like black skinny black jeans you're going to be able to wear them with dresses knit dresses um floaty dresses like long or short midi or maxi they're just going to look great um on to this dress I can't even tell you this is such a beautiful dress it was a little bit big on the bust this one I got this in a size large I think if I'd gone down to medium it actually would have been fine as well I don't think it would have compromised the 
like style of the dress at all but yeah it was just a little bit big on the bust area it's got a lovely tie around the waist it really cinched me in it made my figure really just gave me you know the figure that i want to have it's um very flattering on the figure should we say um i love the way the skirt just falls it's like this lovely um like a really soft gentle pleat and then the pattern obviously oh my god it's just a dream it's like almost goldy almost brownie like i feel like it changes tones a little bit it's just gorgeous and i'm just obsessed at the minute with brown and black together i just love it this season i don't know what it is but like chocolate brown i'm like just get in my wardrobe maybe it's because i'm just a chocolate fiend but oh honestly i just love this this was 69.99 so it's a little bit more expensive but i feel like again it is one of those classic pieces it's classic but it's also like kind of in at the minute because it's not animal print but it looks like a classy version of animal print i feel um because you know, we all know some animal prints can look not so classy but my my favorite look is sort of like an easy effortless dress nice pair of boots a really like gorgeous bag just such an easy effortless look and then a nice big coat over the top i mean you can style this i think i popped on the teddy bear coat just to just to uh, show you guys that you could add some brown to it but um i also think it would look gorgeous with a nice smart black coat um there's a coat i actually have in this haul but i think you can get in black and um i think oh i think it would look great with that so we'll talk about that next actually this was a little bit i mean it is meant to be oversized but it was like drown me oversized it was definitely too big um i think definitely go down to like a medium this was a large but i would say i probably could have got away with even a small in this but if you want to keep it oversized go for the medium so this is just this really gorgeous heavy expensive feeling looking coat it's 150 pound um so it's it again is a little bit more but the quality is there it's absolutely just a dream um, there's a few things from this haul actually that I wanted to share. They're from like the recycled collection of Van Gogh as well, which I love that all the retailers are starting to do. Um, yeah, this is 149.99, um, and I got it in like this grey brown colour because I thought it would go like best with both sort of colours. Then you could wear it with greys, blacks, and browns, so you're sort of covering all the tones that would be in your wardrobe. So I thought it would be really versatile. I like the tortoise buttons on it as well. I think again they just add and bring like the brown out of it a little bit more because to the eye it does look more grey. But if you look at it close up, it's more like creams, nudes, and browns. So yeah, really, really nice, nice and chunky, really smart, like sleeves, really heavy, really nice long line coat. Um, and I'm sure, like I said, it did come in black. If it does, I will link it down below for you all. Um, on to another of my favourites. Now this is going to have to stay as well because I'm obsessed. This is so flattering. So if you've not seen my misguided haul, I'm not normally a misguided kind of gal. I'm not going to lie. But I did a misguided haul because I'd seen a few little pieces that I just had to try on and you'll see why if you watch the video because there was a cream dress very similar to this um, a little bit more sexy because I feel like manga's a little bit more classy and misguided is a little bit more sexy but um, and it was just such a dream so yeah if you're not if you've not seen that yet I'll leave it linked down below um, make sure you're subscribed and then you know you would have seen it but here we are. Uh, this one is a large. This fit is gorgeous. So this is a ribbed knit dress and it's got a little split up the leg, which I just think is super sexy, but also means you can add a pair of like, not knee, yeah, knee high boots? Yeah, knee high boots. And it just looks really classy. You could probably go over the knee, but I wouldn't. I would stick to like the more knee high boots. And even an ankle boot or even a trainer would look great with this dress. It's nice high V, but I didn't feel like it was like up here, which was really nice. Like I do tend to like more of like an open neck and I like it to have some sort of, I like the collarbones to just be out a little bit. I feel like it's just a nice look. It's, for me, it's like that or it's a roll neck. I'm like one of each. So this is actually quite a high little, high little high neck high neck line for me but i actually really liked it i felt like it flattered the dress because of the split of the leg and because it's nice and fitted um it's also got this tie around the belt it's the softest most gorgeous like material i can't even tell you how gorgeous the material is this was 35.99 as well um and yeah it's just a really lovely length really lovely feel obviously it's black it's classic it's gonna be really easy to style um and just looked great i, I paired this one actually with a pair of quiz boots that i've had my eye on for so long i share a lot of quiz stuff um, on here and over on my youtube which 
if you're not into quiz like I wasn't until this year until I started working with them and they have opened my eyes to how many nice pieces they have on their website I have half my wardrobe nearly now is like quiz and I never would have said if you asked me a year ago if I would shop there I wouldn't have and that's just being honest like I'm always a bit, a bit honest a bit real over here but I wouldn't have and you need you need to open your eyes to it because they've got some good stuff they've got some good finds um but yeah if you like those black boots they are a bit of a dream i will leave them linked down below as well next i'm going to go on to this really gorgeous little like floral chiffon mini dress so this time of year you wouldn't necessarily think of mini dresses but i think a mini dress styled with a pair of high knee or over the knee boots looks great as well i think i even maybe had them on in the cutaway with trainers i can't remember now um but this is just gorgeous this is a size large as well again it was a little bit big on the bust but everywhere else was great i love the shift on sleeves i love the little frill detail i love the print on this as well i think it's gorgeous autumn colors um, and i think this would look great with those h&m boots if you've seen the haul you'll know if you follow me on instagram i think you'll know what i mean by the h&m boots they're like croc rust dreams like they're just dreams they're 40 pounds as well so like super affordable um, and they come in black which you guys know if i like something i'll get it in two colors um but yeah i absolutely just love the way it falls i think it's really flattering again cinches you in at the waist super just like elegant lady girly mm, 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 mm. bit of sass with the with the skirt i just love it i literally love it um uh. I'll talk to you about the shoes that I've paired it with. So these are a really gorgeous pair of tan boots. Again, they are real leather. They are £150 again. Now these were smaller than the other ones. So just bear that in mind if you are going to shop them. I think the heel on these is again a gorgeous height, a gorgeous shape, a gorgeous colour. They're a really different colour. I don't think I've seen a pair of boots quite this colour before. They're a really gorgeous like orangey tan and I think that's really nice um, especially for autumn because I feel like it will dress into a lot of like browns, creams, nudes, neutrals, those kind of things but also will look really great and stand out with black really nicely. Um, so I think these are going to be really versatile. They're gorgeous and these are the ones that I mentioned were a little bit tighter around the calf area. So like I mentioned, I have got slightly wider calves. Um, I used to do ballet and also my just think it's just genetics, like my mum has bigger calves as well. Um, it's nothing to be ashamed of, or you know, we're all different shapes and sizes, but I just wanted to mention it because it is something to bear in mind whilst you're shopping for high knee boots. So yeah, really, really nice and versatile pair. And then on to the last um, piece of the haul. So this really gorgeous mango blazer. This is from the Sustainable cotton collection so it's made with eco-friendly fabrics and recycled fabrics which i always think is wonderful that companies are really looking into these things now because i think when sustainable fashion first got talked about all the sustainable sort of brands understandably were a lot more expensive but now they're sort of bringing in these things within the high street brand so they're giving you more options to shop sustainably but i also think if you shop sensibly in the sense of like if you buy things you're going to keep for years and years and years it's a lot better than doing like fast fashion. So I've never ever done fast fashion, it's not really been my thing. Yes, I do shop on the high street because it's more affordable, but if I can incorporate more eco-friendly brands into my wardrobe, then I'll be all means like I want to do that as much as I can. So if anyone has any recommendations for eco-friendly brands that are a reasonable price, because at the end of the day, they have to be affordable i think otherwise you guys probably aren't going to buy them and i probably wouldn't buy them myself so i'm not going to be here recommending them so it just needs to be you know we need to find that good balance okay it's not the last piece there's one more so this blazer is 49.99 so i feel like it's a really affordable blazer i feel like that's most blazers are around the 50 pound mark you know zara and whatnot um i think it's really really nice it's actually like a different material than i would say i've ever felt before it's quite like a cold material and it's just i don't really know how to describe it it's like a little it's not rough it's smooth but quite firm <laughs> i don't know if that makes sense but i feel like if you can hear that you might know what i mean um yeah so it's really nice it's a fitted blazer it's not oversized i had a very similar one to this in the zara hall recently and it was oversized i almost kept it and i just it just didn't because i just didn't know how often i would grab for it and I'm quite glad I didn't because I don't think I would have grabbed for it that often. This is something I'll probably grab for a little bit more. It's going to cinch you in at the waist. It's going to be able to be paired more with like 
jeans and dresses so it's going to give you a bit more versatility than like maybe an oversized star blazer would so it's just a really gorgeous classic like cream sort of off-white color and again got really gorgeous little button details and unfortunately the pockets i think are fake unless you can cut them open i'm not sure i think they're fake which always does annoy me a little bit <laughs> Okay, then I almost forgot to talk to you about this dress, which is actually one of my favourites too. This one surprised me. So I saw this on the website, and this comes in another colour as well, and I can't remember if it's black or... Um, I can't remember what the other colour was, but I went for this one. This is, again, a wool blend, and this has a split up the leg. It's like an oversized fit, and it's just so comfy. I feel like if I was to keep this, which I'm just still a bit... I'm not sure yet how much wear I'd get out of it, but I feel like if I was to keep this, especially during lockdown, I would live in this dress. I don't think I would take it off. I think this would be like the slouchiest, comfiest dress, but it also looks super classy and chic because of the neck and the collar. And I'm not normally a collar kind of girl. I don't like things to be up here unless I guess like it's a roll neck. I don't like collars. I've just never done it. Like pussy bows, it's not, not my thing, but this is more of like a relaxed collar. So it's open in this sort of style and I just, absolutely love it it's a large i'd say i probably could have gone down to a medium and it would still be a slightly oversized um but however it was still quite flattering on i quite like this one um and this one was this one was 49.99 so it's a really like i said gorgeous like deep beige color um and just just such a dreamy feel knit i really like this one in case you couldn't tell I also forgot, I've got a gorgeous belt, which I just need to go and get. And then the last thing is this belt, um, which I think is just a really gorgeous, again, like classic piece for the wardrobe. It's got a really nice buckle and it looks way more expensive than it actually was. So this was $17.99. Um, I think it looks really expensive. I always love a bit of gold hardware. I think it just like makes an outfit really classy. You can hear my cat in the background. I'm sorry about that. Um, and I'm just going to try it on, just check the size. Okay, so I got the large and it, as you can see, it's too big. Um, the button is there. So I'm about a 30 inch waist. Um, so I'll just do it up on the bigger one just so you can see it done up. So that's what it would look like on. I think it's really, really gorgeous and looks nice with an outfit, sort of like a nice easy outfit like this. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you're a size 12, maybe go down to the medium. Um, and then maybe if you're a size 14 up, go for the large fit. Um, so that is that. And that is everything from today's haul. So I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, please hit the thumbs up button and make sure you're subscribed for all those good vibes. And next week's video is going to be an interesting one. So me and Reese have had a little bit of fun. He has ordered my H&M order for next week. So he's picked three outfits for me and we're going to see how that goes. <laughs> will be interesting and then the week after that i also have another h&m haul so it's gonna be a nice autumn haul my picks at that time some really gorgeous bits i'm really excited to share with you so yeah make sure you are subscribed and stick around for that one if you wanted to watch any of the videos i talked about during this video then i will leave them linked down below and as always everything from this video will be linked down below in the description box so hopefully see you in the next video thank you for being here make sure you follow me over on instagram and see you next time Bye for now. Mm -hmm.